Hello, my lovely Starborns. Welcome to your Pick a Card reading. Today, we are looking into the upcoming 30 days from whenever you are watching this. So, let's see. Anything and everything that you need to know about the next 30 days from now. Let me help you choose your group using the archetype deck. This is for my lovely star bonds, my light bonds, my lovely viewers, old and new. Next 30 days for group 1, 2, and 3. Okay, we're ready. Let me help you choose your group. Group 1, group 2, and group 3. Okay, let me show you your card. Group 1, your card is the kiss. This is your card, the kiss. Group 2, your card is the one. Mm. The one. And group three, your card is agape. <laughs> okay, so there's a theme here. Mm, interesting. So see which one is pulling you in, seriously. <laughs> and I will see you at your reading. So group one, you chose the kiss card. Hmm. All right, let me get some more cards for you. Let's look at the energy around you during the next 30 days. Yeah, we'll get one more card from this deck, which will show us the overall energy around you. Oh, the underworld. Hmm. <laughs> I'm hearing kiss of death. Don't run away just yet. Yeah. It's like, okay, so basically you're running away from something that had you stuck, okay? This is a breakthrough energy, believe it or not. It is, so just stick around. Now let's get some tarot. I'm going to get three cards for you, group one. Okay. Look at that, the hermit. <laughs> I'm not ready to take it yet. All right. <laughs> Spirit is like, I am ready, but I am ready. And it's exactly the energy that I'm picking up on. Perhaps you feel like you're not ready for something, but uh, the way everything is shifting right now, you will be ready. Even if you feel like you're not, but you will be when the time comes, okay? So three cards for my lovely group one. Look at that, the lovers. Mm, it's been showing itself again and again. All right. Okay, we're ready. Now we are ready. Now I can feel it. All right, so let's look at your career. This is where the shift is happening, most likely. Breakthrough is also happening in your workspace. This is for your love and relationship, three of wands. Yeah, again, movement, forward movement. And three of wands is this energy of waiting, right? Planning as well, but essentially, waiting for that time, the right time, you know, like chime, I'm hearing chime. Okay, wait. And health and happiness, ace of swords. I'm telling you, breakthrough, breakthrough in every area. It's beautiful. Some of you, you're really overcoming some difficult, difficult energies. Yeah, it, it's almost like you have been in this personal hell but it was required to, yeah, visit your deepest, darkest places of your own psyche. You were uh, traversing these, uh, you know, these pathways. And right now, all of that is shifting. It's like you're... You 
have attained a level of success here you're attaining a level of success and it's not only that you're also the way you'll be moving is like you will be claiming your success and you will be defending your success okay we will obviously get more tarot but now i'm being called to get you some tea leaf okay <laughs> It's the, you know, I got that energy of kiss of death for a reason because it's like many of you in your love area, things are moving forward and perhaps in such a way that you don't see this coming. You do not see this coming. Many of you, I believe this is also related to work. It's almost like everything is, um, yeah, it's, it's sliding real fast. You don't see how this breakthrough is going to happen, perhaps whenever you're watching this, but it's happening. That's what I'm here to tell you. But I'm going to get you some tea leaf first. And then we'll get some more cards. And then we'll also get some more tarot. But yeah. Let's see. So as always, I have it in three piles. And this is for my lovely group one. We'll shuffle one by one. Oh, we have your first card. I'm being asked to do it again. Shuffle once more from the very pile. Okay. Okay. We're ready. Okay, now second pile for group one. Mm. Okay, and one more from the final pile. Okay, so we have four cards for you. Let's look at your tea leaf. Let me keep these away first. They're so slippery. All right, fair woman. Dealings are a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. Diamond. You will be receiving or giving a precious gift. I has to put it here. And tortoise. Slowly but surely getting ahead. Yeah. For sure. Especially with Ace of Swords in death. It is all about forward movement. You're climbing the ladder of success and this is also connected to your ascension processes all right there's definite definite shift happening in your very physical body in and you're receiving some sort of like a mental breakthrough okay if you have been feeling quite stuck one day you'll just wake up and everything is going to shift okay and the way it happens is somewhat magical all right so what else am i supposed to do here um Okay, yeah. animal spirit, they're asking to get you an animal spirit too. All right, one animal spirit for my group, one. Okay, this is for my group, one. Hey! Okay, okay, it wanted to show me that I was holding it upside down. Thank you, spirit. Let's see. Fire ant. Hmm. This is the energy just subsiding. You're overcoming nastiness thrown your way. You're overcoming blockages. You're overcoming delays, whether it is internal or external, whether this is other people's projections or whether this is your own mental projection, whatever it is, breakthrough. What am I telling you? Breakthrough. That is what is up here. Okay. Believe that. Like totally. Okay. Now let's get you some tarot. Talk to us. <laughs> Look at that chariot. And we got two more cards. I'm not going to take these, but we'll take a look. Ace of Pentacles and Five of Cups in Reverse. I'm telling you, the breakthrough is happening in the mental space, which is going to uplift you emotionally, okay? Somebody was, um, I, it's not, okay, but yeah, it feels like it, that you, you're dealing with some nasty people. That energy is subsiding, absolutely. But 
it's also like your blessings are also coming in through people you know and there's definite movement here some of you you could be traveling to if you're planning to travel i see good things happening on this trip there is spiritual protection around you there is immense protection like psychic protection around you if it makes sense but yes there are some um, weird people around you but the thing is whatever is being sent your way it is bouncing off of your field so it doesn't really matter i'm not being guided to talk too much about them but if you have been feeling heavy in your very energy i think you are cognizant of the fact that it's not your very own energy you 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 can differentiate at this point okay and there is something about you where you understand that okay all of this nastiness you know all of this nastiness it can only perhaps delay but even that delay kind of like serves a higher purpose all right if you've been dealing with gossip if you've been dealing with people who talk too much and they just say anything and they don't exactly have the right mindset or sense common sense even as to sometimes perhaps it is okay to keep your mouth shut but no you could be dealing with someone who's like really irresponsible with their words and if if not in front of your face but it's like this is again i'm getting this projection being sent your way you know also your energy is kind of like sugar you know it's addictive uh, i already see protection around you but yeah so what i was telling you whatever this is nastiness <laughs> this nastiness is actually helping you create a particular change okay which is it's because of all this external pressure that you're like you're somewhat moving out of your comfort zone if it makes sense you know you're moving out of your comfort zone and you are making the right moves okay in turn creating that breakthrough okay this is uh this is very twisted but uh, for good for good that's the energy that i'm picking up here okay sure. Yeah, the tower. It's like people trying to come in, bringing their tower. And I'm seeing tower and chariot. They're kind of like, they're like sister cards, you know, opposites. It's like on on the axis, right? It's on an axis, the, these two. So it's serving a higher purpose. You know, they work in tandem. So again, the, neg the negativity, it is being transmuted into light by you. You're like, and, and, and you're using all that as a fuel, as a fuel to create this shift. It's also, I'm getting this energy of leap, quantum leap. So it's like, okay, so you are the type you understand. Energy is just energy. You know, it's like good or bad. You can take all of that. You can alchemize, transmute, and, you know, just lift off, lift off. Use it as a fuel to keep moving forward. Oh... Oh, that's why. And all that pressure only turns you into this. You are a diamond. It's not just like you're getting it. Most likely you are. You'll be receiving a gift. Now, this gift can show up in any way, right? It doesn't have to be tangible, but it could be. Luck is on your side, though, right now. But again, there's something about your energy. It's not like believing in luck. It's more so like you create your luck as how you move. If it makes sense okay <laughs> it's beautiful your energy is beautiful show me look at that ten of cups wow the transformation is happening in your mental sphere in your emotional body and it is helping you look at the bigger picture believe it or not and it is helping you connect all the right dots it is helping you overcome your own limitations and your own limiting beliefs you know and there's something about restoration of faith 
especially because you've 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 been dealing with real real heavy stuff heaviness of your own psyche and also you know all this external stuff but again you're paying attention to the light you're paying attention to the love you are paying attention to the ones who bring in peace and love okay you understand you understand there are all kinds of people out there there's something about your energy you're not personalizing in the upcoming 30 days you're just like okay so whatever comes your way you're like how can i turn it into my ten of cups this is your gold it's beautiful you're not judging people you're accepting them for who they are you're seeing them for who they are and you're just like you're doing your own thing knight of cups uh you can expect a message something is definitely trying to revive itself someone especially in love i believe if it is new it could be it doesn't have to be though that's what i'm getting but if it's new it's like someone really wants to build with you they really want to create a future with you they can see it they they feel like there could be a fam soul family connection yeah there could be a soul family connection yeah. but there's if it's a past person which is most likely the case here maybe uh, this connection is on a back burner there's a bit of like waiting distance and all of that you know lack of communication but again it's like mm, some it's like a person you want this your ten of cups it belongs with this very person okay no one else so if you have somebody like that in your life i see massive shifts happening in this connection i'm seeing 111 so 111 is important because this new moon was 111 again regardless of whenever you're watching this but this is this is the energy which is present in this very reading so it's it's that new start it's like even if it is something old the way it is going to be everything is new about it brand new okay the way things will happen and move forward you cannot really predict it okay and you cannot even expect the worst or you cannot really compare your past with your present and all of that no everything is different because everyone has changed everyone you've been dealing with they have changed yeah eight of wands and this person i believe they want to travel towards you or maybe you want to go towards them or you guys want to meet in the center or in the middle of it all whatever but there is this need to meet up there's this need to communicate there's this need to find that alignment divine alignment you know work with the universe yeah somebody has a law of love for you they don't want to rush you but there is something about like it needs to happen there's a bit of this energy of rush okay wow king of swords for ace of swords and look who's underneath nine of cups you got ten of cups and nine of cups it's crazy well any of you you understand how higher love changed you you know experiencing higher love is transformative right love is like the best catalyst in the world that is why it changes us all love is very much utilized by the divine to create that ego death again and again and again so that you ascend you keep ascending it's just like one of the one of the many common pathways you know used by the universe it's like yeah so love serves a higher purpose especially higher love you're definitely disengaging from no all that noise around you he say she say whatever even if it's your own mind's chatter with a so sort of like shh, silence you know 
yeah, you're putting everybody on mute. You know, only listening to your inner compass, your intuition. You are, you are finally, you're not doubting your intellect. That is where you will be in the next 30 days if this is not the case yet. But yeah, this is also mastery over your own mind as well as not disconnecting from your emotions. Understanding the beauty of balance. Balance is the way. It's not this way or that way. It's about harmonizing. Yeah, how, five cups, five cups, a meeting like that, you know, it's like, like harmony. It's like playing with the creative forces, not fighting against it. Mental health is improving drastically. You'll be on whole another level and also heightened intuition okay you truly know what it is that you want some of you maybe you are in this energy because i earlier i did see hermit i don't know why i'm being reminded of it but i, I think i saw her the hermit god and yeah i'm seeing nine of cups underneath so it's like maybe you also understand that right now this is the energy you you are you find better working with Okay, so first going after your own nine of cups and then when this particular cup is offered to you, that's when your ten of cups comes in. But it's like everything is somewhat of like a preparation for that with death being there because it has that energy of rebirth, you know, plus it's a very scorpionic energy and I'm, I'm doing this reading during the Scorpio season. Hmm. But I'm also seeing this energy of expansion, you know. Now, now you're like dropping any any limitation. All the blockages are clearing. Especially the blockages mm, that show up in as people, you know, as other people. And blockages created by other people. All of that is subsiding. Now, let me help you. How, how do I help you? <laughs> no, let me get you a blessing card. Okay. Hmm. This is for my lovely group one. I saw it thriving. I saw it thriving. This is for group one. Blessings. <laughs> I saw thriving and you got blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings. And even that thriving card had a pink tree and I wanted to mention it. And over here I see pink flowers and even here you have pink flowers. You are definitely getting your flowers in whatever way it's coming in it's coming in wait a minute so see you will be very thoughtful during this period okay and you are very aware of especially your mental chatter and everything and you are trying to find that balance especially with the chariot you are harmonizing i've been talking about balance right you've been harmonizing especially your mental body okay so with the chariot it is the final card in the, in the subconscious part of things in tarot so yeah it's like and then you do have the tower so you, you've been doing that inner work you know and it is being reflected back to you through the outer reality with the tower so it's a very proactive energy even if nothing much is happening it's really proactive energetically you know a lot is happening breakthroughs next 30 days all about breakthroughs for your highest good pro ascension energy here let me read for blessings and then i'm gonna let you go <laughs> wow you got blessings for blessings it's so pretty it's so pretty the card is so pretty yeah and the bird is a parakeet i guess 
I think so. I think so. Uh, it's not mentioned. No. Okay, so immense blessings are emerging into your life from those in spirit. Angels, guides, and spirit guardians are watching over you. That's why protection is in place. Angelic intervention is available to you. So this is also a very good time to pray. Okay? To ask for help if that is what you need. Because over here, I did pick up on a bit of like, you know, yeah, dense and energy, but it's coming up for clearing. So again, but yeah, if you're being, if, if it gets too much, you know, you're being hurt. Okay. That's all you need to know. And you can just relax, which you are anyway doing with this, because I feel like this is like a very conscious kind of control, okay? It's it's not like that crazy psychotic control, no. It's like conscious, very mindful, very aware, very self-aware, very disciplined, understanding the whole process and working with it, you know, in in the flow of it all. It's, it's beautiful. Your energy is beautiful. But yes, angelic intervention is available to you, so you can ask for that so be open to the voice of the divine messages are all around you wow now being asked to pull a pull an angel number card for you yeah okay so have faith that your path is guided it is it is you are protected you are safe watch for signs that spiritual beings are present they are profound healing energy is flowing to you in wondrous ways absolutely Refreshing, replenishing energy is filling your life. That is what it's about. Definitely receiving some soul gifts. And this could be very spiritual in nature. But what do I tell you? All that pressure is just turning you into that diamond that you really are at the soul level. But it's like, I think it is yet to come into full view. Something of that nature, yeah. Okay, let's get you one angel number. So I'm going to cut it in two piles and get you one from each. Oh, look at that. 0707 compromise. <laughs> and wow, look at that. Mirrored number, spiritual awakening. Oh, why, why am I? Okay, you need one more. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't stop. Okay. Compromise. Could you let go of what no longer serves you? I think you already did. You have. Stop holding on to grudges. Yeah, the shadow is loud, so a lot of clearing is happening here. Mm -mm. Express your emotions and aim towards a compromise. Where there is a lack of understanding, it's best to move on. I think you're doing it. You're doing it. You know, again, you're utilizing everything. You're understanding, you're looking at, a, looking at it as a fuel, e even the nastiness, you know, all of that. You're just like, you know, it says self-awareness, forgiveness, professionalism, empathy, tenacity, and freedom. Where there is a lack of understanding, it's best to move on. The truth will set you free. Yep. Stand in your truth, especially with King of Swords being here. And I think you're doing it. And you're not telling yourself any story to self-soothe and all of that. No, you're very matter-of-fact around this time. And you know what you really want and nothing else is going to suffice. Okay, uh, this is a mirror number. You could be seeing this. And it's all about the new, new beginnings, personal development, prioritizing creativity and heading in the right direction, which you are. Future is very bright. Trope one. A new phase in a religious or spiritual quest. Yo, I'm telling you, something is coming up and it's going to ignite you. It's going to give you a bunch of answers. Which is, again, it's liberating you. It's, it's, it's freeing up some energy in your subconscious, okay? Subconscious clearing is that definitely here. It kind of makes sense with the breakthrough energy that came in earlier. 
yeah, it, it can feel like the night of the soul. Yeah, where I tell you, it's a bit dense, but by the end of the 30 days, you'll be so free. You, you'll be attuned to the Ten of Cups and you'll see your blessings very clearly. But first, you will face some nastiness. Why do I? I don't even know how many times I said that word. But the best thing about you is you're very stoic. You're like, oh, okay, that's what you got. That's what you're bringing to me. Okay. And you keep it moving, you know. You are on the path to enlightenment and this too shall pass. It is. It is already on its way out. Look at that. <laughs> Limitless potential. This is what is opening up for you with the breakthrough here. Zero, zero, zero. Reset. Relaxation. Unknown. Surrender. Finish line. Success. Victory. Yeah. What did I tell you? You're attaining success and you're defending it forever and ever and ever. It just reminded me of the Lord's Prayer. And prayer came in earlier too. I don't often get these messages, but yeah, talk to the Lord, whoever it is for you, whatever helps you, okay? Hallowed be thy name. <laughs> it only reminds me of that Iron Maiden song. Okay, so it serves as a timely reminder that anything can be accomplished. If you can dream it, there is no reason you cannot make it a reality. If something is in the possession of another person, it is also available to you. So please be sure to remain calm. What's meant for you won't pass you by. Let go of tension. Relax. Okay, so I hope this helps. See you in the next one. Take care. Hello, group two. You chose the one card. And I'm clearing the energy because I started with your reading and weird things happened. I talked about a double back right in the start of your reading when I tried to do your reading and just then I received a call from a non-friend an ex-friend you know out of nowhere and this is someone I don't want to ever be friends with okay I, I don't know there's just something about this person gives me the ache and this person kept calling me again and again and there were like uh, interferences there there was like I, I just got a very weird energy because I was in the middle of a reading and I hardly get calls and stuff you know and people kind of know this thing about me that no one is supposed to call me directly leave a text first and when I have time I'll call you <laughs> that sort of stuff so when this happened <sighs> because I was sitting here so I just uh, asked my tarot, what, what should I do? <laughs> so I got the temperance card, but in reverse. And I understood why this person was calling me. It just, you know, drama. Nothing new. And yeah, so I called her back and I was like, yeah, so what's up? And then she just acted like as if we are, all, we are still friends or something. So this could be relevant. This could be relevant, okay? people crawling back into your life for weird reasons and they don't they don't really know why you know they still lack accountability they still come in with the same stale energy which is no good to anyone basically so i i called that out and i was like let's let's stop you know don't ever call me ever like ever again <laughs> Then after uh, that short call, I asked my tarot again, did I do the right thing? And trust me, I <laughs> got the temperance card upright. Same card, upright. And I was like, okay, crazy. And uh, because I shared something so trivial, but I think it's relevant because, yeah, I already started with your reading and I was talking about stuff and then all of this happened. So next 30 days this could be relevant that is why i'm being guided to share this i already shared it now let's and yeah that is why i had to clear the energy but i ended up talking about it but yeah let's clear the energy okay what is this oh ash oh, okay 
Okay, this is for my lovely group too. The one you are the one. <laughs> you are the one. There's no replacement for your group too. I think you know this. Also, this is the energy of the source. The source. You are the source. Your connection to the source is inspiring. It's inspirational. Hmm. Okay, the energy surrounding you in the upcoming days, next 30 days, the energy surrounding group. Too. So earlier when I started doing your reading, you got the orphan card. So I got that very energy. Some people feel like, oh, they're left behind. Yeah, look at that, the empty room, <laughs> somewhat similar. Yeah, it's like they feel like you're leaving them behind and it's like they want to... I'm hearing ride your coattail, ride on your coattail. What? Look at that, the shapeshifter wonder show itself and the thread. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm not going to talk too much about that stuff that I already mentioned in the start of your reading. But with the empty room, I'm getting this energy of you being very grounded right now, okay? In the next 30 days, you are thinking long term. You are looking at... Your present and your future here you're not that invested in the past there are certain things which didn't work for a reason and you have no interest in reviving certain connections and especially um, lame superficial connections where you kind of just you don't exactly know something is wrong but you just know that it's not for you okay this person is not supposed to be around you something of that nature so yeah you get the ick the spiritual ick it's kind of like spiritual ick i don't know how to because temperance in reverse is kind of like this card of where people poke you to get a reaction out of you where there is this uh, hidden energy of competition you know they somebody's trying to kind of like imitate you and imitation is not flattering right uh, who said that? Drake said that. <laughs> and I'm just like quoting him. Yeah, imitation is not flattery. It's just annoying. Yeah, so this person uh, trying to come back in, whoever, they're still, oh my god, the energy is so strong. And it's it could be multiple people for you, group too. Multiple people for you. So also old flings coming in, not just friends, old flings and all of that, you know. Uh, I don't know what is up with Mercury, but I think Mercury is going to be in Sagittarius for quite a long time. And it's a very good time to pay attention to your own inner world spiritual stuff. And I think you are absolutely, that's exactly what you're planning on doing. That's what you're invested in. But there will be distractions. That's the energy that I'm getting. You, you have reached somewhat of a zero point. I'm getting zero point energy in both the cards. Okay. And now it's time to that quantum leap it's time to quantum leap this card always gives me the energy of quantum leap and we are soon uh, there we will be entering the portal right the 11 11 portal so very crucial time regardless of whenever you're watching this the next portal is what you're spiritually preparing for okay portals are kind of like portals basically provide you that leap right much required leap and also empty room is the energy of blank canvas it's the energy of reviewing and redoing things but also saying yes to the new okay getting off of that hamster wheel in whatever area that is okay not doing things not repeating things not making the same mistakes it's there's something about like, because 30 is the number of, 30 is kind of like, this is when you're wrapping up the Saturn return, right? Your very first Saturn return. So it's a very transformative energy. So there's no need to relearn because you have already unlearned quite a lot. So you're not wasting your time anymore. Okay, let's get you some tea leaf. Uh, no, first let's get you three tarot cards from this deck, which will show us your career, money, love, health, relationship, happiness, and everything. 
else okay three shuffles final all right ready four of swords hmm. strength eight of cups you're definitely focused on healing look at that page of coins underneath you're definitely focused on healing okay you again you're looking at the bigger picture next 30 days you're not saying yes to anything that takes you out of this um what is this energy what is that word mm. something is in motion it's already in motion there is a momentum that is built here okay you don't want to be destabilized around this time that is the energy that i'm picking up on maybe you have to make really big decisions when it comes to work so you're definitely contemplating you are looking at what else okay what else and maybe you want to create some really big shifts which requires you moving away from certain known situations connections places even and even behavioral patterns you know which requires work here and you're doing the work especially with the strength here you're very focused on your own happiness and not any weird idea of happiness what looks like happiness you know or what society tells you is happiness this is like you're very subjective your subjective analysis of your personal happiness you know what it is for you what it is to you also i feel like work life there's like work work life balance was somewhat missing regardless of even if you don't work i get this energy that every day that there, there, there has been like mind was loud so emotional turmoil mental turmoil and right now you're understanding that you need to calm down you need to relax you need to just be we'll get more tarot but i'm going to get you some tea leaf okay yeah <laughs> flute yeah disappointment in a friend or lover hmm which we see in your tarot too anything else all right flowers beautiful <laughs> okay happiness again you know you're you're aiming for more you're figuring out what truly brings you happiness what is true happiness what is for you okay and in order to find that out of course you need to look at what showed up as happiness but dissipated as soon as it came in and what it's like there's this uh, deep dive happening when it comes to fleeting happiness and happiness which is fulfilling at, at at a deeper core level let's get more tea leaf okay look at that broken ring wealth well okay and casket mm -hmm. someone going out of your life or the end of a situation yeah again big big shifts big changes next 30 <clears throat> next 30 days big shifts are happening big moves are happening again whether yeah love and courage. these are both astral so one thing is clear here your work and your love life is highlighted here again but your main cards are telling a different story here and isn't is this astral too oh my god you got three astral cards 
money. It's all about shifts. It's about big shifts. That is why the empty room, that, that is why the new energy, you know, doing things differently because something is falling away. And I believe it has already fallen away. And now it's time for the one, for that one relationship, for that one thing that is yours, that you do, for that one love. I'm also hearing new money, new money coming in. And it's coming in, like, whatever it is that you're figuring out when it comes to your work, I believe it is very out of the box. It's it's not something which is uh, mainstream. Hmm. But it is truly something which is going to bring you that deep happiness that you seek. But yeah, something is definitely over here. Uh, it looks like it's a connection. And maybe this happened a while ago. But around this time, in the next 30 days, you finally bring it to rest. You know, you're going to allow it to rest in peace and never disturb your own peace. You, especially with the Four of Swords, the energy is that of not, like, not engaging in creating your own suffering it's at four of swords where you decide to do things differently okay you decide to stand up you decide to actually you stand up by lying down so it's like you take that break you know you tell your mind to shut up you tell your mind to relax you 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 kind of like detach from that chatter you know that is what is up here Okay, uh, I'm also going to get you one animal spirit. <clears throat> Who wanted to show? I don't know. Okay, this is for group two spirit shows. The most the thing that they need to know. Something flipped. I will take it, but I'm being asked to air. Yeah because two flipped but i saw the crow so we'll take the crow and i also saw the deer again lion you have the strength strength card <clears throat> otter he, this is the card about happiness and you know you have that death energy in in this card it's like okay something is over for sure here and again it, you know yeah all of that whatever it is it's like it served its purpose. It's time to say that final goodbye. And it's time to actually move the intention to clearly move away from it. Okay. You will have no baggage that will try to like drag you down. No more of that. You're putting down all the baggage. Which is what is liberating you, freeing you up in order to, again, understand, find out your your idea of your personal happiness, what it is for you, and getting it, going after it, getting it. Let's see. Let's get more tarot. Next 30 days for my group two. But I, I just feel like whatever is not in alignment, whatever brings you chaos and uh, fleeting happiness, it's like... I get this energy. It is so fleeting that all that chaos is not even worth it. That is why you need this beautiful zero point energy in order to move towards something which is yours. Like yours, you know. And yes, this also is connected to that inner journey where you finally get to know that you like who you are the one self you know your true self not the conditioned idea of who you are that is what is happening here okay tower
I'm hearing new moon in Sagittarius is relevant for you. Uh, it's it's like a very good time for you to set certain intentions, plant new seeds. And again, it's not so much about uh, new moon in Sagittarius, but it's more so about the upcoming new moon. Okay, so uh, we are already in the new moon energy. It's just been like two days, right? And I, this is a reading for the next 30 days. So essentially, but by the... By the time next 30 days are over, you will be in the new moon phase again, right? So it's the whole lunar cycle, which is like here, and it is life-changing. It is changing everything. It, it it will ask you to, again, drop the baggage. Deal, deal with whatever surfaces and let it go. Let it be. Because... That is what is creating the shift here. That is what is allowing you to go after your own happiness. That is also allowing you to figure out the gem that you are. You kind of know you have some idea, but it's like you don't know who you really are that deeply just yet. And even even if you know, it's like you doubt it. You You doubt your own metal. And that is what is shifting in the upcoming days, you know. Also, happiness is here too, for many of you. Because it's, it's almost like whatever disappoints you, makes you kind of go after what doesn't, right? Which is what, again, it creates the shift. It creates that leap. Quantum leap is definitely highlighted here. So work with the energy of the 1111 portal. And if you're watching this later, so the next monthly portal, work with it, manifest, plant new seeds, and disengage, disengage from the noise, okay? Address it, allow it, release it. Don't sit with it, okay? Yeah, look, Ace of Cups, wonder, show itself. Okay. Look at that, beautiful, ton of cups. I'm telling you, the whole path that is opening for you, it's it, this is where it's leading you to your ultimate Ten of Cups. And in order to go after that, and in order to find that higher love, you kind of have to let go of situations which, which you've just settled for. You've compromised your own intuition for because it's comfortable. So when you're allowing your yourself to let go of again all those uh, limitations these are limitations essentially but it's necessary because it helps you understand the human condition and all of that and some of you this like you're already somewhat on your own but it's like this is more so emotional and mental in nature the energy here so this is where the clearing is happening this is where you're achieving your zero point you are letting go of a lot and this is also this group i'm getting light body activation for you because i feel like immense clearing is happening in the next 30 days and make sure make sure you meditate and you ground all that light coming in okay you ground that and work with the, the energy centers you sometimes yeah you kind of also have to release that excessive chi and everything it's been coming in my reading lately so do that okay let's see look at that queen of swords you are doing that house clearing <laughs> the hermit showed itself in reverse but it's like you're going within you're going within but uh, there's something about your external reality where i see that you're doing quite a lot you are learning and also you're unlearning quite a lot deep dive this is all about the deep dive in a journeying the certain decisions that you're making right now and you're not you won't be deceiving yourself anymore many of you i do feel like you you believe that you feel like you need to like maybe do something else for work and all of that and i see that happening here there could be a need to travel away to a different place most likely like a shift in environment is healthy for you for some reason i don't know why but yeah 
movement away from the place of uh, I'm hearing trauma so it's it's like yeah in your mind also but also physically if you like move away it's it's going to kind of free you up quite a lot and I think you kind of notice but it's like a slow process perhaps but again I feel like it won't be that slow anymore what is this yeah change there's a flow here it's like energy it's shifting oh, oh i love this i love this because this is the progression here and the wheel comes up after the hermit because it's in the hermit energy where you decide you understand you reach that point where from where everything kind of shifts you know the wheel of karma kind of moves from a certain point to a different point and the point of induction i'm hearing it depends on the choices that you make here and what you figure out okay and this is also this is going to again help you help you drop that baggage help you drop whatever it is that doesn't serve you physically i believe like if you have been feeling out of energy if you've been feeling this lack meditation is really really highlighted here but it's like not the i don't know how to say this not that meditation where you just like sit and close your eyes and find the empty space no all of that is okay empty space but i believe uh, visualization technique is a whole different thing no over here i'm getting a different kind of meditation where it's like mindfully protecting your energy mindfully disengaging mindfully letting go of what doesn't serve you and maybe focusing on your chakras yeah chakra work but it's like uh, not the mantra tantra and uh, seed mantra stuff no not that uh, just like guided meditation where you focus on each chakra okay and it's not about again the thing not it's not about opening the chakras or whatever it, it's about balancing yeah it's all about balancing balancing the chakras okay why is that important okay so i'm hearing heavy activities happening in your root chakra as well as your crown chakra and for some of you heart chakra these are the chakras which are highlighted here and if there is anxiousness if there is anxiety there is a reason for it because uh, the chakras are out of balance and in order to relieve this anxiety uh, first find out where which chakra is most affected and then work accordingly and I'm also hearing uh, chakra subliminals where you affirm beliefs which are in your good, which which are in which are more progressive in nature, which kind of help you get rid of limiting beliefs and uh, whatever that uh, promotes fear in your psyche. You need to kind of consciously disengage in order to get into this energy. I want to read for Otto. It's the happiest card in this deck, the auto. Where is it? It's water, right? Mm. He's hiding. He's hiding. Why is he hiding? Yeah, unobstructed joy. <laughs> That's what you're aiming for. That's what you're getting. Okay, and I also feel like this joy will be a result of shifts happening in your money because you do have the wheel here so money is shifting too love is shifting work is shifting it's all about the change it's all about change and big changes with the word underneath and then you have the ace of swords look at that and the chariot beautiful many of you yeah being guided to move move away move to a different location move to a different place space maybe for work maybe not but whatever it is movement is really good for you and also moving your body is very good for you yeah release that chi and also energy work is highlighted here get it, get that reiki the serpent here get that reiki get yeah energy work is highlighted here and really mindful meditation okay so contentment playfulness that's where you're headed It'll be full of love. That's what I'm saying. Like, whatever you're letting go of, right? It's not... Next 30 days, all of that is somewhat in the background, okay? The focus is 
on the empty room. It's on the new. It's on what you can do now. Okay? Looking far ahead in the future, especially with the crow. It's like visualizing a certain kind of future, which is, again, more aligned to you, who you are, and what brings you happiness and all of that. And then creating that, creating that reality consciously. The celebration of eights, it does, it does, it totally does. But certain energy, certain people, certain connections cannot go with you to where you are headed. So you gotta be very mindful. Okay? Now I'm gonna get you one final card from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. This is for my lovely group too. Next 30 days, blessings coming in for group two. Okay, I think you get two. All right. Yeah, you got two of these two. Hmm. All right, let's see. Adventures, what am I saying? Beautiful. Enlightenment, beautiful. Kind of looks like a boat. It is a boat, but the sail is on fire. <laughs> I do see journey is highlighted here, movement. And if if it's not movement in the next 30 days, but it's like you're definitely planning, you're definitely like going. Even here, Moses is on a boat. That's Moses in, in the Eight of Cups, you know. And, you know, very uh, magical energy is here. Big shifts. I want to read for adventures first. It's almost like you're free. You're free from uh, limitations, which were uh, kind of like uh, set on you as a result of whoever or whatever it is that you were dealing with. Especially, I believe, love, yeah, but also work. And uh, like you're finding... I'm hearing refinement, refinement. The energy is refining itself, okay? Kind of like diamond. Okay, so I say something exciting is around the corner. You are an, entering a new frontier filled with expansive energy, especially true for you. Yeah, why did I say that? <laughs> expansive, yeah, you do have Sagittarius court card there. Very expansive, Jupiterian energy, yeah. Begin to look at your word in new and different ways you're doing that you, you're actually being asked to do that consciously with the empty rope visualize the new world that you want to create okay because the wheel is here helping you so be mindful of the choices that you make also there's something about like conscious healing of the body okay so not being limited by uh, perceived limitations and also what is a limitation it's like overcoming those two it's like you can make it happen if you believe in it some of you you could be dealing with some health issues that's where the shift is happening don't, don't accept certain limitations when it comes to your health even if uh, I don't know. I'm just getting this energy. Be hopeful. Be more delusional. Hope for the best. Aim for the best. Especially in your mind's eye. Okay? Begin to look at your word in new and different ways. Something that you thought was mundane or someone whom you may have overlooked will open the door to new opportunities and a bigger and bolder way of living. Yeah. Possible. And maybe this person... Uh, they could be a mutable sign. I'm getting that too for some of you. Yeah. Also, I'm getting fixed. Fixed sign or mutable. Be willing to see the word around you in new ways. Don't be complacent. This card appears when you're ready to remove your blinders and take action. Yeah, I'm hearing fireworks. <laughs> take action so life doesn't become stagnant and lackluster. That is why so much emphasis on movement. It can... Signify incredible spiritual attunement and spiritual voyages. Wow. Inner journey is highlighted here with the 
hermit but i do see physical travel too so this could be in motion this could be something you're planning for and all of that you know so shifts are happening in that area for sure now enlightenment occurs when one steps out of the confines of an ordinary definition of self exactly what i tell you that's also where the shift is happening you're figuring out who you are who the f you are the one you are the one i'm hearing the chosen one you are the chosen one <laughs> so it kind of gives me that black sheep of the family energy with the crow there it's like you're, you're the weird one out but the more you claim it the more you aim for what is truly for you and that means life is joyful life is worth living in the best way possible um, okay you are now reaching into the invisible realm of spirit and connecting with what you cannot see yeah it's very quantum the energy is very quantum uh, out there forces beneath the surface are supporting you on your journey have faith in yourself you're being asked to have faith for sure yeah definitely again and again was out of focus mm -hmm. is it crooked or uh, why am i being like that <laughs> yeah some of you could be this is like also a call to overcome certain obsessive tendencies hmm. be mindful as to you know what, what are you doing mindlessly watch out for that and create shifts I think this is connected to behavioral patterns. Anyway, so have faith in yourself. You are so much more than you believe yourself to be. Have patience that there is a plan unfolding. That's what I'm telling you. I'm picking up on it already. It's like a plan. Like the universe has planned this for you. That is why whatever is falling off, just know that it is taking you to your highest timeline. Okay. I think I've already mentioned that. The sky is the limit. This card represents enlightenment and signals that you are entering into a time of expansive transformation in a luminous and remarkable way. Trust that the changes ahead are for the greater good, for most certainly they are. Absolutely. That's your message. And yes, the greater good is ultimate, ultimate happiness in every area of your life. When you live your truth, when you know your truth and then live accordingly right and for now it's more so like knowing but ultimately it's about living that truth so it's a win-win anyway that's all i see i hope this helps you in the next one take care hello group three you chose agape i'm getting very light-hearted and expansive energy in your group let's see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you one more archetype, which will show us the energy surrounding you in the upcoming days. Next 30 days for group three, the energy surrounding them. Okay. The shapeshifter. The mystic. I think you're undergoing some sort of initiation during these days. I'm going to get you three tarot, which will show us your money, your finances, your career, love, relationship, health, and happiness. This is for group three, spirit. Okay, we're ready. Mm -hmm. Six of coins. Wow. Queen of wands. I love your energy group three. And page of wands. Beautiful, beautiful. Yep. You know, this initiation that you're undergoing with the shapeshifter, I'm getting... This is allowing you to overcome limiting beliefs and fears, fears of the collective kind, of the collective unconscious type, like uh, the 
fear which resides in the collective unconscious so it's not something uh, personal it, it's more so transpersonal in nature also i'm getting this energy of service to others very strongly in this group so some of you you could have a spiritual practice you could be guides you diviners i'm hearing diviners oracles energy workers healers but there's something like that your energy like it's transformative okay you are like a walking talking catalyst and you're appointed by the universe here so your life is yes it's your own yes but you're here to serve basically you're here to know yourself first and then get to know yourself further through others and also help them get to know themselves so it's very much about other people okay right now especially very, very transpersonal energy very collective in nature very connected with spirit very connected with spirit very very connected with your inner light very connected and attuned and very conscious of the inner light what you bring to the table and you, you've been through multiple ego deaths that's what i'm getting here you, you've been through multiple ego deaths so it's like every choice that you make you take everything in account okay it's not something that you just do it in the moment no even if you do it in the moment it is still aligned to the to everything like the bigger picture is in view it's like i i i, I don't even know what i'm saying and i forgot everything just as i said that's so like okay fine so you don't know <laughs> okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to get you some tea leaves first yeah yeah it really it was so dramatic how it happened <laughs> i just forgot everything <laughs> so i'm going to divide it into three piles and then get some cards from each pile this is for my lovely group three next 30 days for group three goldfish <laughs> and you do have six of coins there so i do see you receiving gifts your money looks good and all of that we'll see what else what else oh my god so many you're getting you have the most number of tea leaves out of all the groups final pile okay <laughs> something is very alive okay oh no i'm not gonna take those but yeah yeah that's it that's it a lot is happening hmm frying pan boot hmm mice okay needle and thread a sincere wish will be granted goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth moon changes in your life big changes actually it's not just your life everyone who's coming in contact with you their life is changing you are i don't know how to explain this you affect everyone deeply and people also affect you deeply pay attention to your work yeah you're being asked to focus on what it is that you do for work you already have something established and you are definitely seeing gains here but you're being asked to focus and like every day invest time and energy into your work especially if you offer services and all of that yeah carrot opportunity or windfall mm, that's definitely here and wow marriage Whoever is coming in contact with you, it's almost like sometimes you perhaps have to make difficult decisions. And yeah, it's it's almost like energetically you're giving people homework, assignment to do, something of that nature. And you don't even notice. You don't even know why people behave the way they behave sometimes. I really want to clarify that card. Um, it's almost like people bring trying to bring trouble just because 
they don't have your attention so in order to just get your attention they're just bringing weird stuff they're coming up with weird stories something of that nature or they're trying to drag you into their drama but it's like you're so high up there it's like it doesn't even matter at this point because the kind of initiation that you're undergoing yes this is also one of the ways how you will face your fears okay how you how your own shadow will be reflected on the outside through these very people who come into your life i hope that makes sense you know but essentially you kind of like again i get very enlightened energy here you kind of already know what what's up you know so you're not personalizing anything and you're focusing on the good and as you see all the good is here this side you know because you can also see your wish fulfillment coming in you can you can sense it if not see it but you can sense it you can feel it yeah you can intuit it and it's not just material wealth it is definitely here but it's also like great wealth when it comes to your spiritual prowess i'm hearing so it's like with the queen of wands kind of makes sense because it's like very intuitive energy very highly attuned energy and also free energy joyful energy light energy she's also very generous so all that you have given is coming back to you tenfolds yeah you do have windfall energy here so the law of return is in motion there's a familiar spirit around you. Now, this could be your very own pet. If you don't have a pet, then there is some sort of animal spirit around you. It could be a bird. It could be a dog. And for others, it could also be an insect. Beetle. Beetles are here. But yeah, luck is really strong here, especially the goldfish and beetle in your cards. So the shadow stuff, the darkness of other people, especially, it's not even a, it's not even something which is important. You're not even paying attention to it. It's like people, people, they just do what they do and you keep it moving. Again, you're not personalizing at all. You're focused on your work and you are actually, the advice here is focus more on your work. Put in more effort and time into whatever it is that you're doing. Also, Put in more uh, effort to learn new skills, to also enhance your skills and your gifts and practice, practice. There's something about practice. Maybe uh, some of you could be interested in martial arts. That's a very specific message. Yeah, she's giving me Aikido energy. Aikido, Aikido, right? I think that's what it is. Aikido. Mm. Okay, so uh, now what I'm going to do is... Also with the shapeshifter around you, it's also like uh, the energy, especially the nasty type, it's not, again, it's not permanent, okay? People are just showing you the shadow side so that... you overcome um, the surface level stuff there's something about like you're practicing um, overseeing the persona and going deeper there's something about that you know that is why that shape shifty energy is actually helping you in a way you're also helping these people just because they're coming in contact with you so definite help there it's and that is why you're not personalizing anything but I do see gains when it comes to your money, when it comes to whatever it is that you do for work. That is definitely good. It looks really good. Rather being asked to focus more and more on your work, okay? You're very attractive right now, so you could be getting a lot of attention during this time, okay? And so you have to be very mindful. You're very free. There's something very free about you, so that could also bring in people who would want to like, you know, tie you down <laughs> yeah and if that is what you were looking for yeah well that's good right that's good but yeah i do see vitality coming in and there's this restoration that's happening in your health and you'll be feeling freer you'll be feeling happier you'll be feeling lighter in your body all your bodies but also like especially physical you'll feel um, young 
for some reason you'll feel young you, you'll feel like moving quite a lot you'll feel like just going out there doing things uh, mingling with people networking talking making friends new friends learning new skills all of that next 30 days it's active time for you everything is serving a purpose here the interactions are really highlighted here so if you have been in a period where you've been on your own or something of that nature i, I see a massive shift happening there also, this initiation is leading to integration. That is what marriage is also about. It's not, and obviously this could be uh, a marriage or maybe this is somebody else getting married around you, but this could also be you getting married or whatever. But for some reason, I'm getting this energy, this marriage, marriage is happening in your energy field, especially with agape. It's like the two polarities combining and finding that balance, that, that harmony, creating that beautiful flow. Okay, so let's get some more tarot. Next 30 days for my group three. You're worried about something, okay? Initially in, in the beginning, but... And this could be connected to work, money and all of that, but it's like, don't worry. Okay, there are big shifts happening, big shifts happening and definite opportunity coming in with the page of pentacles there when it comes to work, money, finances, whatever. Maybe some of you are being asked to uh, say no to the scattering. You know, th there's a bit of like scattered energy initially and that is why you were being asked to focus more so on what is already established. Yeah, it's good that you want to do new things uh, and maybe you can start, but it's like whatever is already established, keep working for it. Keep working on it, okay? Give it your time. Yeah, don't... Uh, some of you, yeah, you, you could uh, have a bit of like attention deficit, but it's like uh, overcome that, overcome that and find that focus and do your tiny bit every day. It's just like drop by drop, drop by drop. You create an ocean. That's the energy here. Okay. Yeah. Count your blessings. Yeah. Be in that gratitude mindset disengage from the the noise in the head and this could be coming in because of uh, all the the external energy around you you know people they yeah, are projecting to all of that but again even that is serving a purpose because it is allowing you to overcome your own limitations and fears which when the shadow is reflected in someone else you're dealing with it's that sort of energy so again not personalizing it not making a big deal out of it you keep it moving that's where your success lies Yep. And you know this. You already know this. You already know that everything is changing. You can feel it. You can sense it. You can you are seeing it happening basically. Alright. Wow. Two of Cups underneath. This is where the harmony is. Wow, just as I said that. Temperance and the King of Swords. So yeah, it definitely finding that alchemy. You are learning alchemy. You are mastering the element of, of water, fire, and air. Hmm. There's something about you which is already very grounded, okay? But I think um, consciously grounding yourself will help you with a bit of like anxiety that shows up here. But again, the anxiety... The energy is... Anxiousness is connected to the past, you know? When you're... Yeah, and even she's looking in the past. So when you are looking at, okay, how much time is lost and, you know, so much has happened and uh, you cannot really clearly see the future... And all of that, don't get, there's a bit of like, you know, other people's, like dealing with other people and what you're seeing happening around you, it can kind of like put you in the space where you're like, am I missing out? Am I like disconnected? Am I going to, you know, be alone? Something of that nature. But it's like, yeah, so uh, I'm also getting like, uh, work on your crown chakra. Okay. Very, yeah, that is why you have agape where essentially you're coming to this point, the center point where you are finding that balance, finding that focus, and you're also clearing the energy in order to find that transmutation, in order to transmute all that heaviness, okay? And that is why gratitude is highlighted. Be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for what you have attained. You have attained quite a lot, okay? Especially spiritually. Money also looks good. It's not that bad. 
is going to get better and better the more you affirm it the more you work for it the more you keep doing your bit okay the more you stand in your own truth that's where your superpower is don't dim your light don't try to be like others around you don't try to play the societal games don't try to you know, follow set structures and stuff you're here to do something else you're, you're here to be a pioneer be be that goldfish goldfish is this um, unique energy and for some reason she's also giving me the energy of better fish the warrior fish right and they fight quite a lot right so it's like uh, i'm getting spiritual water energy but this is also you being practical with the knowledge that you have okay this water is shifting everything here but essentially you are finding your balance you are still walking in that agape energy very connected very connected with the universe very connected with source and you're definitely transmuting it definitely overcoming all limitations here you're also overcoming extra noise and you're definitely overcoming anxiety here that's the gift here mm -hmm. so when you face your fears oh, it's common to sense this anxiousness you know it's fine it's fine you you just don't have to personalize it you have to address it you have to let it flow through you and do something about it yeah do, do meditation do chakra work do breath work alternate uh nostril breathing do that nadi shodna yeah do that nadi shodna yeah that's also connected to the integration yeah that happens in the nadi central central pillar yeah that definite integration here you guys that is why i got the initiate initiation energy <clears throat> i've been talking so much okay final look at that the emperor and the wheel of fortune wow look who's underneath again queen of wands two queen queen of wands this is the energy that you're embodying it's aryan in nature this is aries energy this is again i am presence and this is also aries right the emperor <laughs> yeah it's also like saying yes to who you are being you all day every day doing your best waking up doing your best consciously choosing to do your best definite definitely active very active energy here and the more active you are the more you consciously plan your day and do things in a particular manner where you're like again investing your time and energy very mindfully you know doing the things that bring you joy what what you really love doing and sometimes you kind of like get bored of doing the same thing right but then it's about reclaiming reclaiming the things that bring you joy that is truly very much for you and from you and of you so again finding the joy again okay this could also mean you revisiting old projects something that you've put on a back burner and all of that it's like creation creation creative impulse is very strong in this group like some of you you want to create a business and i feel like you are getting inspired you getting new inspiration you're finding that flame again you're like ignited you want to make things happen very very grounded uh, grounding is uh, you're grounded you are grounded but consciously grounding every day will be very helpful for you during these uh, next 30 days okay but yeah with the wheel and everything definite opportunities are headed your way money looks good <clears throat> even if like initially you feel like uh, it's weird or whatever it's fine everything is working out for you around this time and even when it comes to other people uh, well, however they show up just give it time let people reveal who they are okay and you can anyway see right through their persona so again it's not even a big deal here i also see health is looking really good yep all right so <clears throat> what else uh let's get you one sacred destiny card final and then i'm gonna let you go this is for group three 
next 30 days for group three blessings coming in for group three show us the blessings those are so many i'm not going to take those fine okay miracles absolutely did i say that i think so beautiful mystical energy for sure magical you have the courage that's why aries energy is so strong here you already have the courage you you already know what you have to do you already know the answers you already know what it is that is calling to you where it is that you want to go and you're so happy you're saying yes to you around this time so let's see miracles the storms of the past are passing and your dreams are coming true absolutely no matter what has happened in the past your future holds abounding miracles and you know that you know that with the wheel here with the temperance here yes you already know that you 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 have seen so many miracles happen in your life that even if you haven't you just know it you can feel it there's something about your energy which is shifting drastically where you feel blessed you feel blessed and again that is why gratitude mindset gratitude is one of the highest vibration right vibration so it's like um love and gratitude love and gratitude is the answer here okay is is what creates the rainbow bridge seeing stars here and for a minute it gave me that energy of a prism refraction reflection spreading of light white light wow very active chakra yeah nadi so shimna kundalini activation at play for sure okay so yeah yeah obviously i mean it goes without saying uh good fortune celestial beauty and inner divinity are expanding within you believe that your life is guided trust in the goodness of the universe yeah exactly exactly okay a celestial bridge because some certain things certain energies will be thrown your way to kind of like uh, again get you out of this energy but i think you consciously you very much know that that is why you have to be fully aware and not engage with other people's shadow yeah other people's shadows you're not here to do the healing work for others you can show them the way but it's like you're not here to take on their energy take on their nastiness and all of that no but that's it's a thing you know it's also a thing you know something <laughs> you know something uh you know a call secrets <laughs> powerful info real powerful information coming your way in the next 30 days it's only coming your way because you're responsible because the universe has tested you and your integrity is in place All right let's see what else so good fortune celestial beauty and inner divinity are expanding within you believe that your life is guided trust in the goodness of the universe okay a celestial bridge to the heavens is opening for you start a health program invest in your career or initiate a relationship many of you yeah if that is something in the car it's definitely in the gods for you <laughs> you know if you want that it's here a connection a beautiful connection okay so start a health program yeah okay and good fortune will manifest good fortune is definitely manifesting but with the aries energy it's about action it's about the actions you take so it's it is a proactive time for you okay blessings are flowing in all directions believe that you you deserve the best exactly it's about your belief okay if you have that faith blind faith almost like you know yeah you will be receiving your gifts also you'll be receiving your flowers and your ring and your proposal and everything and and even like you know the weirdness and it'll be like you know not mine this is yours take it <laughs> okay so 
believe that you deserve the best because you do bounty joy blessings and miracles are flowing your way i love your reading group three and i'm being asked to also get you a crystal card i did not get it for anyone else but yeah you're being blessed here with a beautiful crystal hopefully yeah all crystals are beautiful all crystals are beautiful why i say hopefully uh, you're being asked to have more and more hope in your own beauty in your own luck in your own i'm hearing capability trust yourself more believe yourself hmm okay a crystal for group three for the next 30 days the most helpful crystal for group three those are two i'm not gonna take it but it's bloodstone and shivalingam bloodstone hmm. okay most helpful crystal for group three it's a, it's a bit difficult to shuffle it three shuffles and then i cut the deck great now we're ready another green one fluorite this is the crystal you know this is the crystal for the light workers for those for people who are in who who are in spiritual work who are into spiritual work why am i not able to speak some of you huh and look it says sharpen your focus some of you you need to do some throat chakra clearing okay and you got all green crystals earlier it showed blood stone right over here we do have malachite right yeah claim your success because it's coming in but yeah this is your main one fluorite and this is very very helpful especially for my energy healers for my transmuters light workers diviners intuition uh, people who work with their intuition so yeah oracles diviners seers and also like people who are very attuned to the psychic phenomena yeah that is when intuition was coming in like if and also there could be like heightened psychic activity around you and you can like really sense everything a bit too much i'm not gonna say the whale is thin because personally it's always thin <laughs> i think this is also your energy the veil is always thin for you <laughs> yeah 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 okay as so i say is uh okay but i did say adhd a little bit right here and there here and there we did see that energy here so even this one says who needs it the perpetually distracted anyone with a vision worth sticking to so fluoride is very good for you okay I do have some, but it's not here. Mm, yeah, it's not here. <laughs> it's on the other table. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the perpetually distracted. Anyone with a vision worth sticking to. You do have a vision. You have visions. Yeah, plural. Okay. And you are here to do things differently. Where to put it? Wherever you find yourself constantly tempted to check your phone yeah so basically it will help you curb the destruction you know when to use it when you want to take an uninterrupted 20 minutes to meditate an hour to finish a book or a lifetime to concentrate on your unique calling here on earth it's is so very on point this very crystal for you and comes in all shades yeah this one is green but it's also blue purple so many other colors Okay, it's very, very good for you. So, yeah, this is the crystal for you. And essentially, I'm also getting all green crystals. Yeah, because even the Queen of Wands and all your cards, yeah, they have a lot of green. In here, you have green here, green, yellow mixing, and then the blue on the outside. All right, so I hope this helps. Group 3, beautiful reading. Beautiful next 30 days. See you in the next one. Take care.